Barry, a Columbia City Council committee is considering ways to grow small business in our communities. News 19's Becky Buds has more on their ideas and how small business owners are reacting. When Red Elliott opened Warmouth six years ago, the Cotton Town area in Columbia looked more like a ghost town. In those six and a half years, it went from zero foot traffic to there being people everywhere. Elliott says it's thanks to small businesses like Curiosity Coffee Bar, Gardener's Outpost, Into Coffee, and more that have transformed the area. It's definitely coming up, and we're very excited about that because uh, every little bit that comes this way helps. Though owner of Inda Coffee, Nick Hauser, tells News 19 opening his business was difficult. It felt excessively burdensome on, on, you know, with tax and some of the different requirements and that kind of thing. Now a city council committee is considering ways to ease burdens on business owners in order to revitalize communities. They're considering no longer requiring businesses that are 7,500 square feet or less to have parking for customers and redoing the way on-street parking is currently done. Columbia has 3,000 people living in the city center. Greenville and Charleston have 9,000 people living in the city center. And, and we frankly need to replace some of these parking lots with, with, with buildings. The committee also proposed creating a grease trap rebate program that would lower the cost restaurants pay to remove waste. Council is also working to cut commercial property taxes to encourage more development. And any help you can get while you're putting that much of your skin in the game is uh, certainly welcome. The committee will present their ideas to full city council in the coming weeks and months. In Columbia, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX.